Guys, we're finishing up a very busy week here in, in Washington, D.C., and it's, it's my first week back. In fact, today marks um, the, uh, uh, the third week from the accident of my son when, um, you know, it was a very touchy situation, uh, almost lost him. Uh, and, and so the first week back is, is a busy one, obviously. Not just busy with all the work you got to get caught up on, but also you start thinking about what happened this week. Uh, the present State of the Union, which was a very positive State of the Union and, and showed the greatness that this country uh, is building towards and has overcome. And you start looking at uh, the acquittal of the President and the Senate, meaning he wasn't convicted of anything, which we already knew that was going to happen. And then the National Day of Prayer. There's a lot of stuff moving, but what's the saddest thing is, is when you start looking at the headache, the, the, the division that Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, and, and this socialist agenda that the Democrats have put us through. When you start looking at what they did, when they started this, which basically when the president got elected, they started trying to impeach him, to when Nancy Pelosi first announced that the House was finally going to do something they had been trying to do. In fact, Nancy said herself, this has been two and a half years in the making when she announced it. Um, we all knew what was going to happen. We all knew that the president was going to be impeached out of the House, not because he did anything, not because he committed a high crime, not because he, he committed a misdemeanor or treason or, or bribery, because it was politically driven from the get-go. And everybody knew that. If you're a Republican or Democrat, you knew what the outcome was going to be. He was going to be impeached out of the House, and then they weren't going to be able to convict him of anything in the Senate. Why? because that's actually a trial. Because it actually takes the, 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 the evidence that supposedly the House is gonna present and make the senators take an actual vote on it. Guys, this is ridiculous. The country needs to move on. We need to start focusing on what's best for this country. It's time to start setting the politics to the side. I, I don't know if that'll happen, but we should. At some point, Families have to heal, wounds have to heal, and the country has to heal. And I appreciate the opportunity you've given me to represent the great state of Oklahoma to come up here and fight for our values. Now, switching gears a little bit. Um, my, my son, as many of you guys know, got, got injured in a wrestling accident. And uh, my 15-year-old son, Jim, um, and my, my time is going to be divided a little bit. Uh, my family comes first. When it comes, well, actually, he comes second. And my priorities, it's God, and I try to always put him first, family, and then everything else. And if your priorities get messed up, then so do you. You, you lose who you are. And so while my son is, is going through rehabilitation uh, in, in Bakersfield, California, my wife and I, we've got to split our time between the other five kids, our duties, and being with him because somebody's got to be with him full time. Um, he's doing good. He's made remarkable physical achievements where he's got a lot, most of his motor skills back, but it's the cognitive rehabilitation from the brain, brain injury that he's got to do. And so it's going to take some time. So I may not be up here every week. It's not that I'm not doing my job. I'm doing my best, but I've also got my priorities too. If you guys want updates on this, um, feel free to follow me on my personal Instagram. There's no politics here, guys. This is just family. It's, uh, it's at Mark Wayne Mullen. As I say, it's no politics, it's just personal. But if you wanna have updates on Jim, please follow there. Thank you for all your prayers. It's so awesome to represent a, a district that believes in prayer uh, and, and believes in getting in our, on their knees and, and, and calling to our higher power in Jesus Christ. And I appreciate that. You guys have been so awesome to work with. May God bless you and may God bless the United States of America.